Hello friends, this is Rupesh and watching CV Not video series on C++ interview questions and this question is what is dangling reference in C++? I know you might have heard about dangling pointer but it is dangling reference. So yes it is possible we can have dangling reference. You might have already seen those topic but you don't know that is called dangling reference. So I will explain that. So we'll be needing one example. So let's implement that. We have some function here and there is this integer i is equal to 10 and we just simply return i. And let's suppose you have integer k is equal to fun and that fun is initialized in this as reference because we are passing as reference there and let's print this k. So I think this is okay code, right? No problem in this code. Because we have this main here, we are calling this function. This function is having this i is equal to 10. It is written by reference and we got this inside k. We are printing that and this is not correct. <laughs> so I know you might be thinking it is a correct code, but let me tell you that this is not correct code. The problem is you are returning this i by reference here and this i is local to this function. So when this function will finish, it will delete this i from its stack. So this i is no longer available and this k is pointing to that i. Okay, and this k doesn't have any idea that i has gone already. So this is a dangling reference. I know you knew this, but maybe you didn't know about what is dangling reference. So if you found something new, then don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and comment whether you knew already or not. Bye-bye.